welterweight division matchup. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick, and then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Three years apart, with the same height and a similar reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC walkaway division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Perth, Australia. Jack! Della Madalena! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Vicente the Silent Assassin! Lucay! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Start of round one, I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plans the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Punches! Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Relax, relax. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. Oh, that right hand is on point. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. 
Single collar tie now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Got the single collar tie. Switch and lands the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Big powerful punch lands, now he gets back to range. Oh, massive head kick there, we'll see if he can finish. Able to check the high kick. All right, single collar tie now. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Man. Oh, big elbow. Oh! What a punch. Oh, man, he's a hard. And they separate. Oh, and that kick is blocked. How good is that right hand? Nice. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cut's been opened up, but got to think at some point there's going to be some blood. You got to be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. He lands a big knee to the body. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's oh! All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant? Unbelievable! Oh! And there comes the stoppage! He's done! He's done! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LaVing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.